Good morning everyone. Um, so today's video we're going up to London. Uh, me and the baby, she's just done her feeding so. Um, but we're going to go up to London because we have to sort out her passport. Oh dear, she is covered in milk. Um, yeah, because we have to sort out her passport which I really, really don't want to do. I don't want to take her up there. She was going to get babysat by her mum-in-law but something came up so. Um, she's coming with me which you know it'd probably be good for her and it's not going to be that difficult it's quite an easy journey in theory but i'm just a bit nervous because i've taken her out loads of places but i don't like going to london anyway um so and i'm worried that there's gonna be something wrong on the passport thing so we're not gonna be able to get her passport so all the stress but um yeah we're, we're gonna i'm gonna leave the house in about 20 minutes i'm just feeding the baby obviously down here because that's most important um in terms of how i'm gonna feed when i go out I've actually, this is a really unflattering angle, but you no, know, my arm hurts. I've actually pumped some milk because I'm not really that bothered about getting my boobs out of stuff in public, to be honest. But it's just a bit messy here because she de-latches herself quite a lot and my boobs produce a lot of milk. So sometimes it's a bit of a spray shower on her. So I just pumped the milk because, hang on, go on because it's just a little bit easier. Um, I've got a lot of milk pumped as well. And I did like one pump this morning and I had some that I'd already frozen and I've got enough for the rest of the day really. Um, so hopefully it won't be too long. I've got an appointment at 11.45. Um, so and it should only take half an hour it says. So hopefully it'll just be simple. We'll go in, have the appointment, either get a yes or a no based on, you know, whether there's any issues on the passport and then we'll be able to come home. Um, so that'll be good. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go on a little trip up to London. I'll see what I can film. I'll try and do my best to film. But um, this is new to me anyway, let alone filming out in public. So that's gonna be fun. Um, but yeah, I'm yeah, I'm just trying to be positive about the fact that I've got to go to London. And it's a bit cold. I've packed the baby stuff with like everything she might possibly ever need. But I'm still a bit nervous about it all, so. <laughs> so, I don't wanna spend really much money when I go up to London because be honest it's expensive enough getting up there and back so i'm taking some crisps they've got which i'm just going to drink on the train i think to be honest it's going to be much easier i've got a coffee and and i'm going to take one of these blue energy drinks i don't know i don't really have time to make anything decent food wise so i might just really quickly eat a bowl of cereal or something but yeah I've got to change the baby's nappy and get her ready. Ooh, now I'm stressed because I also don't know how I'm going to pay for the underground because I don't have my Oyster card. So uh, this is why I hate travelling unless I'm driving somewhere. Anyway, I'm going to get the baby ready and then we'll be off. the photo booth is on here but i'm stuck in bed with a sleeping baby as i am most days my camera is just out of reach but she's been screaming for about an hour and a half and i don't want to move so i could have filmed this on my phone actually but whatever we're going out to school so i just wanted to say i did actually have more footage for this video and i'm gutted because the last two videos i've uploaded have been total shit um but it's purely because as you can see i haven't put makeup on today 
I literally had to brush a dreadlock out of my hair, basically. Um, because I haven't been able to brush my hair for weeks because I've been washing it and then just shoving it out like this. Um, so I just haven't had time today. We've had like, people around and stuff. To, so I don't have time to like get ready and film the videos I wanted to film. Um, I've got a few ideas for the next week. Uh, I hadn't vlogged anything today because it's just been a day of running around and then I'm not in the habit of doing it and it's a, like running around with her and then her screaming and I can't film if she's screaming because nobody wants to see that. So yeah, it's been a bit of a fail. I am sorry. We did make it to London and we did make it back um, fine. It was actually amazing. Sophia was really good and just basically slept the whole way. I um, had a little bit of a cry on the train, but like barely anything. I managed to contain it, so that was good. And then the last clip you saw, there was like no one on the train. I was trying to show you that, and I didn't really film it very well. Um, and I actually changed her. I put a change back down, obviously, but I changed it like on the seat because there was no one in the carriage. Um, and I thought, screw it, it saves me getting all the way up and going to the toilet. Um, and so I'm really dehydrated. Mm. Um, but yeah, she was so good, and I think her, we've got her passport sorted, I think we're going to get it next week. Basically, we had to go to London to get a passport, I think I explained at the beginning, but in case I didn't, um, because we're going on a surprise family holiday to France for my dad-in-law's birthday in like a few weeks, and we just hadn't done it because we had a newborn and just didn't think about it. Um, and to be quite frank, I hadn't even realised it was supposed to happen for your baby, because Way back when, when I was a baby, you could just be on your mum's passport for two years and like you could travel with them. So, yeah, you can't do that anymore. So, I will do an update on Monday with the better camera um, for like a vlog. Um, it'll probably go up Tuesday, so look out for that. Um, just telling you all about it, because we should have her passport by then so you can see it. Obviously not her name and stuff in there, but all the personal stuff. But, yeah, you can see the passport picture that we chose, which is horrible, but whatever. And that's about it really, she's just, yeah, this is just life, I just constantly look terrible, it's like, I'm going to do a whole video on like postpartum and stuff, things I don't tell you, but like I feel like I spend my life just feeling ugh these days, because this is all as bad as it can see. Anyway, I'm going to go now, I'll see you next.